In this video, we're going to talk about Ultimate Challenge 3. After the rude interruptions of before, we're going to continue on. And essentially, this one is about um, the worst one, in fact. It's probably the hardest one to do in my books. Uh, because the second fight is against the, um, the pole fighter. The spear fighter. And he's uh, he's troublesome for me. For this first fight, though, against Takeda Genryusa, not to be confused with Genryusa from Ninja Garden, as everyone knows. Um, basically, you just keep spamming square, 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 and you will hit him over and over again. He does block a lot. I don't know if you can throw him into the river. If you can throw him into the river, that'd be really useful and a real quick finish to this one. Um, judging by the surroundings, but I don't think you can. If you can, that'd be insane and really cool. But, uh, yeah, not done it. But, uh, yeah, if if you got good tactics on these fights, feel free to uh, share them in the below description because I just mashed square throughout the entire game, pretty much. Uh, I don't really have tactics for this. <laughs> But I do prove that you can just mash your way through pretty much any game in the entire history of gaming. So, not all games, but most of them. Uh, especially Dark Souls. But, uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> but yeah, he's nearly done. Just keep mashing. This guy's relatively easy. He won't lose too much health, hopefully. This guy is a pain in the ass. A spear and a gun. I mean, what a combination. But his moves are just so ugh, and like the hitboxes on the thing are terrible. So we're getting a quick early um, heat action strike, do a fair amount of damage, kick him to the ground. That's a good sort of sixth of a bar there. Not too bad. Hit him whilst he's on the ground, get some good damage in. So I'm thinking, what is the best way to fight this guy? Because I can understand if you step away, obviously you want to hit confirm, maybe you just hit in and then get in close, hit out, but then he blocks and then he'll do, like, he'll unleash a move through your move, which is really annoying. Like, that's, that's pretty good there, but again, he blocks that as we were, it should have been a full combo straight off the bat there, but because it isn't, then it just gets a bit ridiculous. And then he starts hitting you to the ground with some nonsense. And then it's, it's when he goes into his second phase mainly. But obviously, like, hit confirming obviously is a really good part of this. Where you can do a lot of damage. And if you've not hit confirmed, you should really be backing out and reassessing the situation. But I don't really assess anything with any clarity in my life or in my mind. So... Especially when it comes to gaming, as uh, all of the people that watch my streams know. But, uh, I just run and gun and do what I need to do. That move is preposterous and it does a lot of damage. So as you can see we're taking massive damage here, we're, we're not doing well. But we get behind, we hit confirm there. When, when they stagger basically that's a hit confirm. You can get away from a lot of his moves but I just do not like the way that they hit through your moves. It's really annoying. I don't know. Oh, I mean, that's just nonsense. Just absolutely nonsense. It's more annoying every time I see it. I've seen it once. Because I did it. Well, twice technically. Because I was there when it was happening. Because I was doing it. But yeah. I guess you have to be more patient in this fight rather than... I mean, that would have been instant death there. I'm getting lucky with some sort of dodges. Oh, that was lucky. Got the finisher off though, and he's down. He is finished, but that's by far the worst fight for me in the entire game. If anyone's got any tactics on that, please share them far and wide, because I don't. So they bring us back to about half health, which is quite useful really, because I thought we were going to have way less than that. Uh, and we're just going to absolutely tactically destroy this man, Ito Kajitaru. And, uh, yeah, basically, he's like Majima or most other enemies where they get hit by the tail end because they dodge behind you, they get hit by the tail end of the combo, and the combo just continues. So, they do hit you occasionally. It's 
par for the course, but at least you're uh, doing way more damage to them, and you're taking the bare minimal damage, like. And obviously hit confirming here is way, way, way better of an idea, but once you do hit confirm, keep smashing that combo, and you might get him in a stun lock for a while. Obviously they block a lot, which is infuriating. Oh, and he made use of the gun there. A rare use of the gun. The AI didn't know what was coming for him. That's got a lot of health though, so it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully the video is, at the very least, entertaining rather than helpful. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Peace out. Thanks for watching.